There's my boy! My boy! Turn your headlights on. Hello Internet, welcome to real life. I was out riding because I really wanted it in my system, or rather I wanted to get it out of my system. And I'm so out of practice making YouTube videos apparently, but I forgot, oh yeah, there's probably people who want to hear me talk to myself while I'm riding. So yeah, okay, I'll record it on the Friday. It is nighttime as in it is past sunset. I rarely ride past sunset, but I haven't ridden much and I just really wanted to get it out of my system. I just, I'm like a little stressed and I'm tired. I was lamenting how I want to travel or get out of the house, whatever. And I said, I'm just gonna go to the grocery store or something just to get out and I was like I'll take the bike because it's not super dark and it won't be really hot right now and then I was like I'll go to the grocery store it's further away I was like yeah this is good and I was like oh yeah well, I could just make a video so it won't be particularly interesting a lot of straight line driving I suspect but I'd have some things I could rant about it's pegs it's nice it's very nice as you can see I'm not squitting because last time <laughs> <laughs> There's something special about that dog other than it was a dog and I was like, oh, I like dogs. Ah, oh, it's nice now. It has been like 100 degrees and then it'll rain. It's just been pretty, pretty bad for riding. But now it's 80 and humid and the sun, there's no sun. I don't have to wear sun protection, but I am wearing skin protection because I just can't afford to, I cannot afford another hospital bill. I told myself if I crash again, I'm just going to have a friend pick me up and go home and then lay down. <laughs> So I just wanted to get out of the house, but also, secretly, I wanted to see how these new bulbs I put in, these LED bulbs, work in the dark. I'm trying really hard to make this trip happen to Ure, Colorado for Labor Day weekend with this bike. I am, I want to say I'm excited, but I am very excited at the idea, but I realize there's a fair chance it just won't happen and I won't get to go anywhere, but I really want to finish getting this bike done up and then just take it in the mountains for a day. Oh. Sounds so cool. <sighs> Riding and getting out of the house, just, just good for my mental health. It's called throttle therapy, I believe. Oh. <laughs> Look at that bright ass LED. Oh yeah, buddy. LEDs, looks. It's been the goal for a while, like a year now, to do uh, motorcycle coaching. I do want to do that. Teach niños and orphans how to ride motorcycles on the weekends. The complication was the uh, certification course. It's not closed, does it look pretty closed? Oh, they can't be, eh, they can't be closed. Those poor bastards, they're gonna have to let me get in there and get a snack. I gotta say this before I go inside and start talking to myself out loud. The certification class to get my uh, license to do that didn't have enough participants, so the, the class was effectively canceled, which meant I was out of commission for six months, had to wait six months for the season, six months to reapply for the class. I got into the class again now, and it looks like the class is gonna happen. It looks like I'm gonna get to finally do that, which is great. The con is, of course, I've been waiting near a year, and and I'm gonna have to wait at least another six months before I can ever have that job. So until then, I gotta get another job. And you're, again, just joining along on a regular night of me doing my own thing. Oh, that tire is so slick and bad. Needs to be replaced. Oh, I should take my gloves off. We need to take the gloves off. We need to take the gloves off. I just realized I'm tired. I was just thinking, I wanna lay down on the floor. Nice cold floor. Salty snack. Oh, now I just want cookies. Yeah, I came here to eat my feelings away, but mostly it was an excuse to ride somewhere. Cookies. I was thinking of one of two things. Either these, oh, I gotta choose. These are my probably like my favorite candy candy right now. My favorite chocolate candy for a while has been these. Caramel filled chocolate squares. This is a lot cheaper. I like cheap. You know what's cheaper than getting candy? Getting no candy. <laughs> I must choose. Ketchup. Ketchup. These aren't gonna fill me up though. And I'm not gonna wanna eat all of them. Maybe that's okay. Can I just get like one good cookie? I would love one good cookie. <laughs> I'm gonna stand here and get this for my thumbnail and call it eating my feelings away. <laughs> That shouldn't be a thumbnail for a motovlog because anyone who wants to watch motovlog isn't going to know that's what it is and not going to want to click on it, you know, but I don't care. I'm not doing it as a job, just doing whatever I want. And I love that freedom. Love that. All right. Well, I'm going to do this then. I'm going to do this too. No skateboarding, loitering, or littering. Didn't say anything against rollerblading, roller skating, or motorbiking. For this nice little cheap ass efficient way to store things. Nylon bag type thing, little net on the tail put it under the net, wrap the net under the seat, done. Storage. Yee yee wee wee French French baguette. Ka chow Nice and slow on every turn for all time on this bike from now on. <laughs> it's pretty dark. This would be a good time for high beam. Oh, didn't make any difference. I mean, I could see it reflecting, boom, on the light, but I don't see it like on the trees. Maybe if it were darker, the high beam would have look better. Needs work though. Fork seals need to be checked. The fluids need to be refilled. 
tires need to be replaced. The battery is falling out of the frame that needs to be fixed. I got like 10 things, literally a list of 10 things that need to be done on this bike. This bike is basically my beater. I've never had a bike that's been more of a beater than this one, that's for sure. It's the one you commute with, you put miles on, you drop it, you do whatever you want to it and don't feel any kind of problems about it, which is why it's my favorite or the one I enjoy the most. Yeah, it's my favorite. Depends how you define favorite. I've gotten into that before. Yeah, I don't ride at night much. I used to like years ago. I thought, oh, riding after dark is the coolest thing ever because I can see the LEDs on my bike. And then I got older and less fun. I was like, oh, I don't really want LEDs on my bike. And I don't really want Legos on my helmets. Like I have no problem with it, but I would just give them the choice, choose not. I think less is more simple and more simple is more better. Anyway, that and safety and trying to work or live more regular hours. And if I want to go out and have interactions for like Moto Monday, you rarely get anything after dark because, you know, there's usually nobody out. You know what's weird going by here? I, one time at night, I remember years ago, I took this to the top of that parking garage, the whole parking garage and explored it. It was the only time I ever went there just to look around. Oh yeah, I, I did have some, I knew I had some good news besides the fact that I'm going to be a motorcycle coach eventually. I was just thinking as far as getting out of the house and for my mental health, I was like, if I could just find some place that's really not far away that I could go moto camp. Like surely I could moto camp practically anywhere, but what I really want to do is take this bike because one, I don't want to go far and two, well, it'd be cool to take this bike out somewhere. But then if I did, wherever I go would have to have charging because this bike can't go very far. So I looked, I think I found a place that's 40 minutes away that this bike could make it to and charge at and I could sleep there. I tried calling the place to get information, but I can't get through to them. So what I'm gonna have to do is when I get my Super Duke back from the shop, which is still at the shop, I'll ride that out there and scout it just to look at it because this thing wouldn't be able to ride there and back without charging. And I don't know if I can charge there. So anyway, the moral of the story is I think I found a potential nearby little moto campsite area type of a thing. And I'd be very happy if I could go do that. It's a simple, cool idea. I mean, it's like one step above, like I'm gonna go camp in my backyard, put the tent in my backyard. I've never done that, but I like the idea. Like imagine if you could, if you have, some of you guys do have the kind of place where you can build a campfire in your backyard and just sleep in your backyard if you wanted to. If you wanted to, you know, I don't have that ability. So step up from that would be someplace not far where I can go camp. But it has to be on the bike just because, you know, motorcycle. So I'll see about that. And then if that place is available, regardless of if I have money to travel or, or anything, there's no way I can't not just, you know, drive 40 minutes and then go sleep somewhere on a Saturday night on my weekend. So I'm excited at the prospect. It's a simple little pleasure that I'm very happy to most likely be able to get, but we'll see. I don't want to go home, but I'm heading home, but I have nowhere else I could be going. So I probably should head home. I like riding if I know generally where I'm going. And on this bike, I have to know generally where I'm going because it can only go so far. Whew. Anyway, I am going to go home. I hope you guys didn't hate this ride along too much, but this is just me doing my own thing and then realizing, oh yeah, I make videos sometimes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all are doing well. And that felt really slippery. did not like that. I hope you are all doing well and being good. And I'll see you later. Bye.